Okay, so we're going to start with today's class. How are you? Good evening, everybody. How do you feel today? How was your day? How was it? Good. Good. So, so happy, relaxed. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay. Okay. So, good evening, Liliana. Good evening. Uh, Marco, good evening, Erebin. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Suleima. Okay, evening. so Marcelo, were you able to go inside the platform? Pull entrar. Sí, sí, ya puedo entrar. Gracias. Okay, very good. All right, guys. So we are going to yeah. start. Uh -huh. Es esta, verdad? Let me see. Sí, verdad? Yes. Yes, correct. Oh. Yes, that's the one. Okay, perfect. Then we are going to start with the quote of the day. And Urban, can you please help us reading? You can whenever it's possible. Possible. Thank you. So possible. be kind whenever possible. What is the meaning of kind? Kind is an adjective, and kind means amable, All right? So be kind whenever possible. Hay que ser amable siempre que no sea posible, All right? So be kind whenever possible, be kind, yes? So we are going to start with today's agenda. We have the warm up, we have vocabulary, we have grammar, uh, we have practice time, we have listening as well, and we have exercises, of course. So today as a warm up, we have tongue twister. Do you know what is a tongue twister? Do you know? Do you know what is the meaning of tongue twister? Trabalengua. Yes, trabalenguas, very good. So a tongue twister help us to develop fluency. Uh, to develop a better way of speaking, okay? So you are going to practice this one today, all right? This one is a tongue twister for today and I'm going to pronounce it twice, okay? I'm going to pronounce it, uh, I'm going to pronounce it two times. Se lo voy a pronunciar dos veces. And listen, because you are going to go one by one. Uno por uno lo voy diciendo, okay? So we are going to start. So it says, a big black dog beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Again, okay. A big black dog beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay. All right. The last time. A big black dog beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Nose. Nariz. Nose. Okay. A big black ball. Un ball es como decir un, un bicho, un, un animal que vuela. Yes, yeah, so a big black dog beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay, one by one, all right? One by one. So first, let me see, let me see here. So one by one, uno por uno. Okay, so first, um, Yvette, then Marco, then Urban, then Marcelo, then Liliana, then Johnny, Erica, and Suleima. Okay, so Yvette, you go first. Go, Yvette. Okay. A big black dog with a big black dog on his big black nose. Perfect. Marco. A big black dog with a big black dog on his big black nose. Excellent, very good. Urban. A big black dog be a big black dog on his big black nose. Perfect, very good. Marcelo. 
A big black book, big, a big black dog, on his big black nose. Very good, Marcelo. Liliana? A big black boss beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Excellent. Erica? A big black dog beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Very good. Okay, Suleima. A big black pot be a big black dog on big black nose. Very good. Johnny. We're liking that Johnny is having issues with the internet. Yes. Hi, Tanya. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Uh... Good, so so okay, okay, good, okay, Tanya. So we are practicing this stone twister, okay. We are practicing it, and it goes like this: a big black bug beat a big black dog on his big black nose. The tongue twister, okay. So let's see. Uh, Tanya, can you please read it? A big black book, big, bit a big black dog on his big black nose. Mm -hmm. Very good. Franklin, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, happy. <laughs> happy. Okay. So, Franklin, read the tongue twister. Read. Okay. Uh, a big black book, big a big black dog on um, his big black nose. Very good. Okay. This is homework for you. I'm going to ask you on Monday again. Okay. So on Monday, you should say this fast. A big black dog with a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay. On Monday, it should be like that. You need to repeat. This as many times as you want, okay? But practice it, practice it. Okay, so we are going to continue, guys. And today we are going to start with vocabulary. So we have seasons, seasons. So we have four seasons, okay? We have winter, spring, summer, and fall. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. What is the meaning of winter? Winter is invierno. Winter. A spring, primavera. Summer, verano. And fall, otoño. So, Right now, we are in which season? In spring, in summer, in fall, in winter, which season? Right now, October? Mm -hmm. Fall. Fall, yes. We are in fall. Yes, that is true. Okay, so now, and how's the weather? How is the weather? How's the weather? How? How's the weather? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cold? Is it foggy? Is it hot? Is it cloudy? Is it snowy or windy? How's the weather? How's the weather right now? How? It is? Huh? Cloudy. Cloudy? Okay. 
What is the meaning of cloudy? Do you have questions about vocabulary? Do you have questions? Or do you know the meaning of all of this? Yes? Okay. So it is cloudy? Okay. Cloudy. Or is it hot? Uh huh. Hot? No? No. No, it is not hot. Well, I think that it is windy. It is windy. What is windy? Windy es cuando hace bastante viento. Windy. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre cloudy y foggy? Cloudy, eso es anublado. Eso es nublado. Cloudy, nublado. En foggy, neblinoso. Look at the picture. Neblinoso. En cloudy, nublado. Yes. So cloudy, nublado, foggy, neblinoso. Like whenever we go to la puerta del diablo or los planes. Foggy. Mm -hmm. It's no I'm sorry? Snowy? Snowy? Snowy, nevado. Cuando eh, hay nieve, nevado. Here in El Salvador, we do not have snow. Lo podremos utilizar en una conversación. <laughs> <laughs> well, with people from the U.S. or from other countries, yes. Con personas que vienen de otros países, yes, but we don't have snow. Nosotros no tenemos nieve. Right? But snowy is eh, nevado. Nevado. Okay. All right. So perfect. So right now it's cloudy, said Irving. Monday? Yes, no, I'm just I'm just saying, okay, that you said that right now it's cloudy. Are sí. you sure, guys, that right now it's cloudy, or is it cold, or is it windy? Mm -hmm. So every single time that somebody asks you, and how's the weather in El Salvador? How's the weather? How's the weather? That is the question that somebody can ask you to know about our weather. How's the weather? And you should reply, it's hot, it's sunny, it's rainy, it's cloudy, it's cold, it's foggy, it's windy, it's snowy. Okay? Don't forget about that. How's the weather? Okay? Very good. So now let's move. And I'm going to give you some tips for you to take into account whenever we are talking about time. Okay. So one tip is that we use the word o'clock when there are no minutes. Example, eight o'clock. So as you can see, it says we use the word o'clock when there are no minutes, okay? So for example, eight o'clock. Cuando no hay minutos, cuando son las en punto, podemos decir o'clock. But if we have 10, 45, we cannot, we cannot say o'clock, okay? We cannot say it o'clock. Si usted tiene 10 y 45, no podemos decir o'clock. Solo diga 10.45 a.m. Or 10.45. That's it. The o'clock, o'clock 
you are going to use it when there are no minutes. Cuando queremos decir en punto, cuando no hay minutos. 11 en punto, 12 en punto, 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 6 o'clock. But if you have minutes, o'clock cannot be used. Okay. All right. Then let's move. And right now we are going to correct the mistake. Number one, which is the mistake on sentence one? Which is the mistake? Uh -huh. What is the mistake? The mistake on this one? Um, soccer. Okay. Match. The soccer match. Yeah. The mistake. Is... Uh -huh. El error. What is the mistake? Match. Match? No. Match? Ma match? Okay. Are you match. sure? Uh, uh -huh. Very good. Thank you, Tanya. The mistake is on. It should be at. Uh -huh. We do not say the soccer match is on 9 p.m. No. We say the soccer match is at because we are talking about the time prepositions okay so the soccer match is at 9 p.m number two what is the mistake mm -hmm. no okay in no why not it should be on on very good so it should be we went to a party on March 12th. Why? Because it is a specific March 12th. Very good. Number three, what is the mistake? On Monday. Mm -hmm. on, on Monday. Monday. Very good. It should be on Monday, no in Monday, right? On Monday, we eat pupusas. Okay, number four. What is the mistake? On, on 7 p.m. At. Okay, we oh, have we have at, two mistakes. We have two mistakes. Okay, yes, one is at. Here. In, in the other one, we have two. Two mistakes. One at. Okay, and the at. other one. The other mistake? Uh, that is on, on Saturday. Yes, very good. It should be on Saturday. She sleeps at 7 p.m. Very good. Excellent. Remember that the Saturday doesn't exist. No existe esto, the Saturday. No. Okay. It is on Saturday, on, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on a Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. Never that, never, never. Okay, so now what about number five? In March. In March. In March. Excellent. Okay, so you see? Easy, okay, easy. Okay, right now, let's complete the sentence with the correct preposition. Okay, so number one, what is the correct preposition? In August. In okay. August. In August, okay, so it should be in. Okay, what about number two? In April. Mm -hmm. In April. In April. Okay. In April. Number three. On April. Okay. Repeat after me and say uh, April. No me acuerdo. 
April. April. Yes. On April 15th. Very good. Number four. At. Very good. At. Because we are talking about time. Number five. On. Okay, are you sure? This is a season of the year. A season. Una estación del año. So what do we use for seasons of the year? End. End. Okay, very good. We use? End. Yes, in spring. Excellent. Okay, remember. In plus the month. In the month, on month, and day, at time, time, in season. Okay, don't forget about that. Do you have questions? Do you have doubts? Questions? Questions or doubts? No? Okay, perfect. Let's move then, okay? If you don't have questions, let's continue. Okay, so today we are going to cover grammar, okay? And we are going to move from the simple present tense to there is and there are. There is and there are. So we are going to start, but first I'm going to uh, take the attendance, okay? The attendance. Um, give me one second. The attendance. Okay, so give me one second. All right. Yeah. Brian Antonio Castro Molina. Brian. Okay. Christian Marcelo Ramirez Moran. Present. Thank you. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrillas. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Thank you. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Present. Thank you. Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Ervin Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Thank you. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Thank you. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. Present. Thank you. José Enrique Siliesar Alas. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Marco, well, yeah, okay. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present. Thank you. Suleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Okay, let me just. Yes. All right, so let's continue with the grammar part, okay? So I was telling you that I'm going to explain there is and there are. So guys, this is a topic which is really easy. This is easy, okay? We are going to start by talking about there is or there is which is the contraction for positive structures, okay? This is a contraction for a positive sentence. This is the long way, this is the contraction, okay? So when do we use there is? When do we use there is? Um, Yvette, help us reading this, read this. <laughs> Read this. 
we also is and there to make a list of things or we want to say can sometimes exist. Okay, so guys, we use there is and there are to make a list of things or when we want to say that something exists. So there is, is in order for us to make a list of things, okay? For example, there is an apple, there is an orange, there is a pear, there is a pineapple, there is a strawberry. There is a girl. There is a boy, etc. Now, there is means in Spanish, all right? It means I. I una manzana. There is an apple. And you see that we have positive negative and questions. We have positive, negative, and questions. There is singular, okay? For example, there is an apple on the table. So there is an apple, one, an apple on the table. So the structure could be there, plus is, plus a or an, plus the complement. It depends on the word, right? It depends on the word. Here it's an because apple, it starts with a vowel, okay? So now what about negative? There is not a or an plus complement. There is not, ahí no hay, no hay. There is not an apple on the table. There is not. Okay? And we uh, have the questions. Yes. And, and there is? There is. Mm, oh, the contraction? The contraction? Uh, there there is, is not. Or oh, is a very. Which one, eh, Franklin? La pronunciación del very. The, ab, about the contraction, de la contracción? Yes. Okay, so yes. This one is there is, and the contraction sounds there is. Okay, now with the negative, we can also use contraction. There is not, with the negative. There is not or there isn't. We can use contractions, okay? Contractions. So there is not an apple on the table. Now with the questions, we use is, there, a, an, or any plus complement. So we have, is there an apple on the table? Is there an apple on the table? Yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Is there an apple on the table? Oh, yes, there is. Or no, there isn't. Okay, so now, if we want to say, if we want to say, no hay una pera en la mesa. How would you say it? There is not a, a pair on the table. Okay, so we use there is or there are to make a list 
Ok, to list, para hacer listas, right? To make a list of things or when we want to say that something exists. Yes? Questions. Questions that you have, doubts that you have. Questions. No? Okay. So then let me ask you. Um, how would you say, how would you say, como diría, how would you say, hay un perro? There is a dog. There is a dog. Ahora, ¿cómo preguntaría? ¿Hay un perro? Is there a dog? Very good. Excellent. Okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, let's move. Let's move. Let's continue. Okay. So now we have exercises. Okay, let's create positive, negative, and questions. But first, positive. Okay. Let's create sentences with those objects. Let's create sentences with those objects. Please send the sentences in the chat. In the chat. For example, there is a table. Positive sentence. Positive. Positive sentence. Positive. Positive sentence. Okay. In the chat. In the chat. Mm -hmm. There is a table in the room. Perfect, Tanya. There is a table in the room. Excellent. There is a table in my house. Perfect, Airbnb. Perfect, Yvette. Yes. Excellent. Huh? Okay, Franklin, there is... Mm, okay, Franklin, there is a pencil on the table. There is a pencil on the table, Franklin. On the table. A pencil on the table. There is a table in my house. Perfect. Yes, Liliana. Excellent. There is a, okay. Marcelo, there is a one. So there is a car. Just one car. Yes. Mm -mm. That is plural. There is a chair in the dining room. Okay. There is a pencil in the office. Yes, Suleyma. Okay. Now, uh, let me see. Negatives. Now, negatives. Negative sentence. Ervin, there is a desk in my school. Okay. Now, negative. Negative sentences. Negative. Teacher, what is the meaning of cupboard? Cupboard, this one. Cupboard a la cena. A la cena. Okay. A la cena. Okay. Cupboard. A la cena could be a la cena o despensa. Right. A cupboard. Uh, there is not a table in my house. There is not a table in the room. There is not a table in my. Okay. Let me see. There is not a table in the room, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is not a motorcycle in the house, okay. Okay. Excellent. So now create questions, questions. Questions, please.
-hmm. Is there a table in the room? In the room? In the room? Yes, there is. Aha, period. Y puntito. Is there a table in the room? Okay. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Questions, okay. Is there a motorcycle in the room? Okay, very good. Is there a table in the floor? Okay, yes, there is. Ah, okay. Marco, a uh, fourth is cuarto, but in this case, in order for you to say the place, el, 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 en sí la habitación, room. Okay, room. Very good. Mm, is there... Is there an eraser? Is there a sharpener? Mm -hmm. Franklin, a. A on the first one and a on the second one. Let's see, is there a dog in the house? Okay, Irving, yes. Is there a, a, a pencil on the table? On the table, on, sobre, on. Yes, there is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have questions? Let me see. There is not a, there is not a ruler in the bathroom. There is not a. Okay, so guys, any questions so far about this? Pregunta acerca de esto? No? Okay, let's move. Now, let's focus on there are. Plural. There are or there aren't. There are or there aren't. Okay, so look at this, guys. With the positive, we cannot contract. No podemos utilizar contracción con la positiva. Okay, is just there are. Just the one that can uh, be contracted is uh, there aren't. Okay, so we have positive sentence, negative sentence, and questions. There are. Plural. There are plus the plural noun. In this case, plural, no singular, plural. So there are apples in the fridge. There are apples in the fridge. How many apples do you have? Or how many apples are there, okay, in this case, um, in the fridge? Refri o nevera? Uh -huh. Yes. Una refrigeradora. Exactly. Negative, there are no plus complement. There are no apples in the fridge. There are no apples in the fridge. No hay. There are no. There are no apples in the fridge. Are there apples in the fridge? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Okay. 
I'm going to write it down. So it will be, yes, there are, period, or no, comma, there aren't. Like this, okay? Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay, so now let's create sentences. Let's see. How can you say, how can you say, hay naranjas en la mesa? There are orange in the on, table. On table. On the table. Okay, the table. be careful with this. Okay, hay que ser cuidadoso con esto. ¿Por qué? Ten, yes, Yvette, tell me. Uh, uh, una question. Yes. Uh, is Arno or Arnot in T? With, oh, yes. No, this one is without T. Esta es sin la T. Yes, tomorrow I'm going to explain the other one. Porque también está con la T. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y mm -hmm. por qué? Ah, yes. Okay. But today, just this one. Okay. Okay. Ahí poco a poco. Yes. Okay. So now, in this case, um, let's be careful. Why? Because we need to make it plural. Tenemos que hacerlo plural. Si se fija aquí, yo no digo apple, digo apples. So orange ya no es orange. Tiene que ser oranges. Se le agrega la S. Ok. Here, usted le agrega la S a oranges. Pear ya no es pear, es purse. Mm -hmm. There are pineapples in my house. Perfect, like that. Yes, Irvin. Mm -hmm. Now, with strawberries, uh, we follow the rule on strawberries. Le quitamos la Y y le ponemos I y S. Ok. So, strawberries en plural queda con la I latina y le agregamos I S. I y S. Strawberries. Plural. Uh -huh. So, there are oranges in the fridge. There are, give me one second. There are pears in the fridge. There are pineapples in the fridge. There are strawberries in the fridge. Plural. There are is for plural nouns. Plural. Mm -hmm. Do you have questions? Tiene preguntas? Tiene dudas? No? Okay. So then let's move and let's make sentences. Create sentences with those objects and send them in the chat. Positive sentences. Positive. Right now, positive. Positive. Positive sentences. There are cell phones. Okay, yeah. pronunciation. There are cell phones. Cell phones. Um, let me see. There are four chairs in the room. Mm -hmm. mm, be careful with the spelling, Tanya. Okay, four, four, no, four, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Franklin, send the sentence. There are notebooks, plural. Tenemos que pluralizarlo. S, S. Okay, there are, oh, okay. There are cell phones. Notebooks, uh-huh. 
Franklin, look at the structure. Look at the structure, Franklin. Mire la estructura, Franklin. No llevamos a ni an. Mm -mm. Póngale S al noun. A cell phone, S. There are chairs in the school. Yes, Erika. There are uh, clocks in my room. Okay, Marco. Double O. Double O. Room. R O O M. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now send negative sentences. Negative. Negative sentences. Negative. There are there are chairs. Plural, Liliana. Plural. Chairs. S with the letter S. There are not. Okay. There are not chairs in the room. There are no notebooks in the table. On the table. There are no clocks in the room. Yes, Irvin. Yes, Yvette. But uh, on the table, there are no lamps. Okay, lamps with S because it's plural. Franklin, plural. Tiene que ser plural. No es singular. There are es para plurales. Singulares, there is. There are no lamps. Con la S, lamps. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now create questions. Send questions. Questions. There are no notebooks. Notebooks. Letter S. Notebooks. Plural, Liliana. Plural. There are no books. Yes, Marcelo. Oh, there are. But there are, okay? I use it. There are no books. Pero es there are. There are no maps in my house. Yes, Marco. Perfect. Are there chairs in the room? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Okay. Very good. Tanya, excellent. Mm -hmm. Are there lamps? Perfect, Liliana. Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Questions, questions, send them in the chat. Send them in the chat. Are there notebooks on the table? Yes, there are. Yes, Yvette. Are there chairs? Yes, Marco. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, excellent. Are there maps? Yes, there are. Yes, there are, Erica. Are, are there are there lamps in the house? Erwin, there. Okay, there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. Do you have any question right now about these questions? About the things that we have covered? Questions? No questions right now? Okay. So then let's move. But before moving on, let's take this one. Okay. So here, should be there, is, or are? Is. There is. is. There, is there is a, a lemon. lemon. Number two. Are. There are lemons. Lemon. Number three. There is, there is. Number four. There, there are, are apples. Very good. Number five. There, there are, are some berries. Okay, Umbrella. so there are strawberries. 
strawberries. Okay. Yes. What about this one? There is, there is a strawberry. Next. There is a strawberry. There is an orange. Excellent. Next. There are, there there are, are orange. orange. Oranges. There are, there are, there are bears. Uh -huh. Next. There is, there is uh, a pineapple. 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 Next. They are, they are grapes. Okay. Okay. So now, well, let's see. There is or there are? Uh, there are. There are. Next. There is. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are fried apples. Next. There is, there is uh, one, one up there. Bird. Next. Bird. There is there one is strawberry. Very good. Next. There, there are, 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 are. Next. There are, there are lemons. Lemons. Next. There, there is, is one pineapple. Pineapple. Next. Pineapple. There, there is, is one, one chicken. chicken. One chicken. Chicken. One chicken. Next. There is, there is, there is a soap. A soap. Next. There are there are hamburgers. Okay. 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 Next. There are vegetables. There are 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 vegetables. Repeat after me and say vegetables. 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 Next. There is a tomato. 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 Next. There are 11 potatoes. Potatoes. Aha. Next. There is a pizza. A pizza. Next. There are fruits. 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 And the last one. The last one. There are. There are twelve eggs. There are twelve eggs. Very good. Okay. So now repeat after me. Okay. Repeat after me. Let's see. Soup. 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 Vegetables. 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 Fruit. Fruit. Very good. Okay. So now, please, I'm going to send. Uh, okay, let me see. I'm going to send this link and I need you to take the quiz. I need you to take the quiz right now. Es un quiz que quiero que lo tome ahorita. Un examen. Take it. You have five minutes. Tienes cinco minutos para terminar. Quiz, quiz ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Te, descarga, te descarga. No. Es que me sale download. Oh, really? Ah, ya me salió. Oh. Ok, ajá. Le va a salir eso. Usted solo tiene que hacerlo. Mire, bien fácil. Eight, eight questions. Ok. There is, there are. Cuando lo termine, me dice su nota. Please tell me your name. Ay, no me agarra. No me agarro. Um, no me sale el etiche. No le sale. No, no, le sale? no, no una no, página yo. me sale. No le sale. Pero... Bájale un poquito. Yes, you need to scroll down. Ah, yes, yes, sí, uh -huh. yes. Ay, a mí no me sale. Tiene que, que scroll down, tiene que bajar así y ve. Ah, pero para, para allá poner las respuestas. Ah, solo le da clic. 
Ah, ajá, pero no, no, no me sale. Ahí es. Ajá, no me sale. Pero me voy a ver si me vuelvo a meter. Yes. En curso o grupo, ¿qué se le pone a Twitch? Ah, ok. You finished, Tania? Sí, yes. Ok. Oh, oh my God, Tania. Yo no puedo ni entrar. Okay. Ya, ya, lo, ya lo terminé, ya se me iba a preguntar. Ok, entonces, tómele una captura. Una captura y mándeme la nota. Yo la nota quiero ver. Al grupo eh, de pero es que no aparece la nota. No. ¿Qué es? Ajá, es aparece. Que lo tiene que enviar o si ver cuáles son, cuáles son las respuestas correctas. Es. Really? Let me see. Ok, I'm going. No, yes, les aparece. Ok, let's see. Well. A mí así me aparece. Ajá. Ajá, a mí también. Ok. No, but uh, close that. Cierre eso, Marcelo. Cierra ese cuadrito. No veo, Marcelo. Aquí a la terminé. Del para arriba, scroll up. Voy a, a mí solo me sale en verde todos. Ah, ok, so, ah, ok, sí, lo tiene todo puede? verde porque tuvo 100. Ah, ok. Me sale todas en verde también. All right, you got 100. Ok, so 100, 100, Marcelo 100. Yes, you got 100. Y es tan fácil contestarlo sin necesidad de ver el. Oh el, my God, yes, that is true. Porque sale con los los objetos en plural y singular. Yes, sí, uh -huh, correct. Uh -huh. Ok. Franklin, you finish? Terminó, Franklin. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, yeah. ya aparecen todas en verde. All right, very good. Erika, you finish? Finish. Ok, very good. Well, I think that most of you already finished. Okay. Eh, Suleima? Well, I ya terminé. You finished. Okay. Perfect. Sí, todo en verde. Okay. All in green. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, maybe because of the internet. Uh -huh, maybe because of the internet. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue and let's focus on vocabulary. Vocabulary. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so it says match the words and pictures of furniture that you have in your home. Okay, so the first one, what is picture number one? What do you think? A chair, a desk, a lamp, a an armchair, a table, a mirror, uh-huh. What is it? Guess. Uh -huh. eh, será la siete. Okay. Okay, no. I mean, what is this? What is this? Number one, what is it? Uh, one is armchair. Armchair? Okay. Armchair. Armchair. No, it's not the armchair. Um, ar ar An armchair? No, it's not. No. Number one. Number one is a wardrobe. Teacher, what is a wardrobe? Nunca lo había visto. What is that word? What is the meaning? What is the meaning? A wardrobe is un armario. A wardrobe. Okay. Number two. What is number two? Mm -hmm. Um, armchair. An armchair. An armchair. El sillón, este sillón es un armchair. 
Number three. Alarm. Alarm. Alarm, of course, right? Very easy. Alarm. Okay. Number four. Mirror. mirror. A mirror. Repeat after me and say mirror. Mirror. Yes. Number five. A chair. A chair. A chair. Yes. Repeat yes. after me. Chair. 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 Number chair. six. Uh, a desk. A desk. Okay. Number seven. Shelves. Shelves. Okay. Repeat after me and say shelves. 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 Yes. What about number eight? Table. Table. A, table. a table yes a table like this mm -hmm. okay do you have guys do you have a wardrobe in your room do you have a wardrobe uh, a wardrobe do you have do you have a wardrobe do you have a wardrobe? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes, I, yes, do. I, I do. don't. I don't. Okay. Yes, I do. Do you have an armchair? No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Okay. Do you have a lamp? No, I don't. Do you have a mirror? Do you have a mirror? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you have a chair? Do you have a chair? Yes, I, yes, do. I do. Okay. Do you have a desk? Yes, I do. Do you have shelves? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you have a table? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Do you have questions right now? Preguntas? Dudas? No? Okay. Now, guys, we are going to listen. Listen. Okay? Listen. I'm going to play an audio and you should listen. Listen and read. Listen and read. Okay? So here we go. Here we go. Hello. I'm Andy, and I'd like to show you my house. Please come in. Let's start in the living room. There are two armchairs in this room. I always sit in this one, and my wife sits in that one. There is also a lamp next to my chair, because I like to read in the evenings. This is the kitchen, and we also use it as a dining room. There is a big table here in front of the window. There are two chairs as well. Now, let's go to the office. My wife is a lawyer, and she works from home. There is a big desk for her computer, and behind the desk, there are shelves where she keeps her books and papers. Finally, I'll show you our bedroom. Next to the bed, there is a mirror. And on the right, there is a space for our clothes and a big wardrobe. Okay. Again. Okay. Again. Hello. I'm Andy, and I'd like to show you my house. Please come in. Let's start in the living room. There are two armchairs in this room. I always sit in this one and my wife sits in that one. There is also a lamp next to my chair because I like to read in the evenings. This is the kitchen, and we also use it as a dining room. There is a big table here in front of the window. There are two chairs as well. Now, let's go to the office. 
My wife is a lawyer, and she works from home. There is a big desk for her computer, and behind the desk, there are shelves where she keeps her books and papers. Finally, I'll show you our bedroom. Next to the bed, there is a mirror, and on the right, there is a space for our clothes and a big wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Your wardrobe, right? Okay, so guys, right now, as you can see, we have vocabulary. Show. What is the meaning of show? Mostrar. Show. Show. Mostrar. Enseñar. Mostrar algo. Show. Okay? Please come in. This expression, please come in, means, por favor, entra. Please come in. Please come in. Por favor, entra. Please come in. Living room, sala. Sala. There are two armchairs, plural. There are two armchairs in this room. There is also a lamp, singular. There is also a lamp next to my chair. Next to preposition. Do you remember about prepositions? Next to my chair. Dining room. Dining room. Mm -hmm. Donde comemos. The dining room. Okay. So there is a big table. There is a big table here in front of the window, in front, in frente de. There are two chairs as well, two chairs. There is a big desk for her computer. There are shelves. There is a mirror. There is space for our clothes in a big wardrobe. Yes? So you see, we are using there is and there are. Now we are going to go and practice in pairs, in pairs. You are going to look at the picture and you are going to describe the, the picture using there is and there are with your partner. Okay, in different rooms with your partner. Write down vocabulary, okay? Then you are going to move to this one and you are going to do the same. Va a ser lo mismo, okay? So first this one, second this one, okay? Speaking. And then this one. Look at the picture below and complete the sentence the sentences with there is or there isn't or there are based on the picture. Va a ver lo que hay aquí, va a poner. Si hay una planta, there is and you say. But right now, let's start with this. Vamos a empezar con esto. All right? So open the class, open the class and we're going to start with this one. So here we go. Let me create the rooms. Okay. Yo creo que no dijo cuántas teníamos que poner. You can create five. Three. Five. five. Yes. Okay. Five. Okay. Con solo verlo, hay dos sillones, hay dos ventanas, o tres ventanas. Okay. 
Tres ventanas creo que hay. Un, dos, tres, tres. Para decir calabaza, teacher. Ah, those are pumpkins. I'm going to send it. ¿Y cómo se escribe? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm going to spell it for you, okay? Se lo voy a deletrear, okay? Okay. It's P U M P K I N S. Pumpkin. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Pumpkins. Pumpkin. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. Sí, me a ver si escucho esa palabra. Ah, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> But yes, pumpkins. Pumpkins o pumpkins. Pumpkins. Ok, gracias, teacher. Si querés, comencemos con la primera. Ok. Podemos poner: There are two. Three windows. No, sería three windows. Ajá, windows. Three windows. There are two windows. Mm -hmm. There are. Eh, entonces sería vale. Vale. la primera sería there is a table uh -huh. sí a vale. table. Entonces, también este there is a, a lamp uh -huh. a lamp uh -huh. there is a lamp la segunda la segunda podríamos poner este is... there are a window The, there are a windows or windows. There, the windows. Okay. Porque es plural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? Yes. The, there are windows. There are, are windows. Windows. Are windows. Windows. Yes. Uh, también. Um, the, there are books. Mm -hmm. Very good. There are books. Mm -hmm. Con este. Vaya, entonces sería los dos sillones. Eh, ¿qué más? Ah, dos, dos. ¿Qué ver? La, los, los dos cuadros. Teacher, sí, una consulta. Yes. Eh, cuando son sillones es couchers. ¿Cómo se, 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 di, se escribe, mejor dicho, se dice, se dice? ¿Los dos sillones? Oh, there are two. Ok. Well, in this case, if you see, si vemos, hay un armchair. Hay un armchair. Y el Ajá. otro podemos decir que es un sofá. Un sofá y en, hay un... Y un entonces, armchair. Sería por separado, entonces. Ok. There is a sofa and there is an armchair. Mm -hmm. So, Marco, we have feedback today. Okay. Vaya. Yeah. Marcelo, ¿qué más podemos poner ahí? Uh, que ver, ya tenemos la table, mm -hmm. sofa, sofa, answer. Um, there are windows. There are windows. Okay. The How windows many? See, are are windows? Mm -hmm. How are, many windows? There they are, are books. There are books. Are books? They are books. Uh -huh. They are okay. Libros. Uh, Libros. Sería. There is a. Eh, como, como para contarlo, está difícil. Podría dejar como many. 
o como para decir muchos libros. Ah, there are many books. There are many. Many books. Yes. También quiero ver. Uh -huh. De esa creo que sería todo eso, ¿verdad? Podemos pasar a la, a la oficina. Ok, continue. There is... Yeah, there in are... In the living room. In the living room. Ajá, in the living room. Y la última... There is a lamp in the living room. Hay una lámpara en la sala. There is a lamp. There is a lamp. There is a lamp in the living room. Ahora va la siguiente, ¿verdad? Ajá, la oficina. The office in English. The office. Office. Uh -huh. office. Uh, there is there is a clock or mm -hmm. there is there is a clock in there the office. Uh -huh. In the office. Very good. Uh -huh. Yes. There is. Quiero ver también. Maleta, maleta. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, Irving, when you want to say, eh, cuando quiera decir como quiero ver en inglés, let me see. Let me see es como se dice, ¿verdad? No, let me see es quiero ver. decir, quiero ver, let me see. Uh -huh. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, number number two, there is a plan net to the thread. thread. Pero hay tres. Sería there are three. Ah, there are uh, there are three plans. Plan. In the office. Uh -huh. There are three plans. In, uh -huh. In the office. Eh, eh, maleta dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, maleta. Suitcase. ¿Cómo? Suitcase. S-U-S-U-I-T. S-U-I-T. Y case. S -U -I -T, case. Prácticamente siempre se le pone case a cualquier objeto para decir algo como maleta o protector o. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me see what else. Uh -huh. What else? Eh, pero maleta se dice back, back, no. Back? Sí. Back es una bolsa. Ah, bolsa. Uh -huh. Y ahí sería. El, o sea, es que hay un, como una lámpara de escritorio y hay como una lámpara en el techo, pero no sé si serían lo mismo, dos lámparas o se diferencia cada uno. Ah, ok, so la lámpara de escritorio es una desk lamp. Y la de arriba solo es lamp. Lamp. Okay. Uh, puede ser lamp. Um, de mi sí, pero me voy a ver la. Sí, es una lamp. Es una lamp. Es una lamp. Um, es lamp. Uh -huh. Let me see. Y la otra es una desk lamp. Uh -huh. um, Entonces, uh, la otra podemos poner there, there is a desk in the office. Y there is a desk lamp okay. in the office. Ya tenemos dos. Sí, Sherry, podemos poner there is 
a lamp next to the, the office. O sea, te es tu de, de computer. Yes. There is a lamp next to the computer. Yes. Next to the computer. Si ponemos esa. Irving, si ponemos esa. Sí, está bien. Entonces sería there is a computer. There is a lamp next next Mm. The computer. Uh -huh. All right, like that. There is a clock. There is a clock. There is a clock. Te tiembla la mano, Marcelo. ¿Cómo? Es que es que es el iPad. Okay, let me. Uh, opposite, there is a clock on the. No on the. The, the wall, wall, dice, va? There is a clock on the wall. On the wall, okay. A clock on the wall. Quinta, Marcelo. Eh, Amy, ¿qué dice ahí? Mirrors. Mirrors. Sería. They are. They are. They, they are. They are. There are Ahí está, Marcelo, ahí se puede ver. Ya lo puso de la ticha. Yes, ok, so you can okay. see. Ok, say, Marcelo. Eh, no, sería six. The, the six. Sorry. I'm sorry. Eh, six, Marcelo. There is a door. Mm -hmm. There is a door. Ok. They Seven. are they, they are they, on they, the top table. They, they are correct. They are any glass glasses. Glasses on the uh, yes, oh. glasses they, on the sure. table. Mm -hmm. e e the ah. the, uh, there is they, there is a TV set. Mm -hmm. Sí, ahí está. Terminamos, Marcelo. Ok. Solo, so, que, solo que él, solo él las anotó, teacher, porque él estaba teniendo ahí la cama. Oh yes, yes, un equipo. Un, ¿Cómo se dice? Que trabajamos en equipo. A team. A team, okay. correct, correct. Ok, very good. All right. So then, right now, Since you finish, let's move. Okay, let's move and let's practice the. Ah, dialogue. Yes, the dialogue, the conversation. Okay. Okay. Tú. Okay. Entonces, no sé John. si quieres el Tony o Laura. Okay. Uh, uh, John, inicia tú. Yes, Marcelo, John, uh -huh. Laura, Marco. Sí. Okay. I like this. Eso sí, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Teacher. Neighborhood. Neighbor. Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Ah, okay. I, I like this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's quiet and... It's quiet. And it's quiet and convenient. Mm -hmm. I know. I love this place. There are many restaurants and bars around. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a big church and many shops. Mm -hmm. I would like to live here. There are gro gro ¿cómo se menciona para la I... grocery stores, grocery stores, coffee place, and pet stores. Mm -hmm. The only problem is that it's a really fancy place. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, right. Rents mouth by expensive. Okay, rents must okay. okay, rents must be expensive. Ah, uh, rents must be expensive. All right. Okay, now you John permita no, permita un momento. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's practice together, Marco. 
Okay. Now you, John, and I'm Laura. Go. Perfect. I like this neighborhood. It's good and convenient. Quiet and convenient. Quiet and convenient. Quiet. 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 It's quiet. It's quiet and convenient. I know. I love this place. There are many restaurants and bars around. Yes, there is a big theater and many shops. I would like to live here. There are grocery stores, coffee places, and pet stores. The only problem is that it's really fancy place. Okay, yeah, right. Rents must be expensive. Must be okay, expensive. repeat after me. Fancy place. Fancy place. Fancy quiet place. and convenient. Quiet and convenient. Yes, yeah, so quiet. Es, quiet. Eh, es como silencioso, que no hay ruido. Ah, ok. Yes, and convenient. Quiet, es quiet convenient. and convenient. Mm -hmm. Quiet and convenient. Quiet yes. And convenient. Okay. Y, let me see. Grocery stores. Una tienda de comestibles. Ok, una tienda de comestibles. Como un eh, super. Grocers. Grocery stores, grocery stores, grocery stores, grocery stores, grocery stores, yes, okay, so now John, Marco, Laura, Marcelo, okay, inició, I like this neighborhood, is <laughs> yeah, quiet. quiet and convenient, convenient, okay, convenient, I know, I love this play, Place. There are many restaurants and bars around. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a big theater and many shops. I would like to lie here. There mm -hmm. are grocery here. I would like to live here. Ah. I would like to lie. I like to live to live to live to live here 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 there are grocery store copy please and pet store mm -hmm. the all I know she see that. the only problem is that it's really fancy place mm -hmm. yeah right rent mods be expenses. Expensive. Ex what expensive. is the meaning of expensive? Expensive is Ex caro. Quite, quite, and convenient. Quite. Caro. Okay. Expensive is caro. Okay. Um, yes. Rents must be expensive. O sea, la renta debe de ser bien costosa. Right? Um, Yes. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to move you to a different room so you can practice with your partner. Okay. Lo voy a cambiar de salón para que practique con alguien más. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Eh, okay. so once you are in the next room, cuando ya esté en el siguiente salón, usted le va a decir a su compañero. La teacher dijo que eh, practiquemos el role play my neighborhood. Luego, conversation questions. Se vienen a estas y luego, eh, well, después lo voy a llamar yo a la, sala, a la sala principal, pero ahorita necesito que hablen, ¿ok? So, my okay. neighborhood y the conversation questions, those three, ¿ok? Perfecto. All right, so let me move you, let me move you to a different room. So, Marco, let me send you with Irvin, and I'm going to bring Tania, and Marcelo, I'm going to move you with Yvette, and I'm going to bring Franklin. Hi, Franklin. Uh, hi. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Hello. Hello, okay. All right, so we're going to start practicing speaking. Okay, so go to this role play. Go to this role play. So you did you finish this? 
and yes. Okay, so now let's move to this one. Okay. And then this one. Okay, we are going to practice with conversation questions and the role play. Las dos cosas ah, que practiqué. Ok, esto y después las preguntas. Okay. ok, voy a abrirla. Ajá. Open this, John Franklin and Laura Tania. Y después John Tania y Laura Franklin. Ok, se intercambian los papeles. Ok. okay. All right. So, okay. let me go to the next room. Let's start practicing. Ok, empiezo eh, a practicar. Déjenme ir a, a ver la otra, sal, la otra sala. Ok, give me one okay, second. Ok, ok, ok. No Thank problem. You. Ok. You finish? Finish. You finish. Ok, so now let's move to the role play. I need to practice the role play. This one and then conversation questions. This one and then conversation questions. Okay, so if you finish this, let's move to this one. So John, Liliana, Erica, Laura, and then Liliana, John, and Erica, Laura. Okay. Okay. And then those. Okay, so right now let's practice with me because I'm here. So John, please, Liliana, Erica, Laura, go. Okay. I like to eat neighbor's word hall. Neighbor's? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Is cute. Is cute. Is cute and convenient. And convenient. Quiet. Quiet. It's quiet. And convenient. 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 Don't worry, okay? Convenient. Uh -huh. Convenient. Yes, Eric. Okay. I know, I love this place. There are many restaurants and bars around. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a big, the, the other, and uh, many uh, shops. I would like to live here. There, uh, there are gross. <laughs> Grocery. Grocery stores. Uh -huh. Grocery stores. Copy place and pet stores. Mm -hmm. The only problem is that is the really fancy place. Yeah, right. Rents must be expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now repeat after me, okay? Before we continue, repeat after me. Neighborhood. 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 Quiet. 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 Convenient. Convenient. Quiet. Convenient. Quiet. Convenient. Quiet. Convenient. Neighborhood. 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 Many shops. Many shops. Many shops. Theater. 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 Grocery stores. Grocery, Grocery stores. Copy places. Copy places. Pet stores. Pet, Pet stores. stores. Fancy place. Fancy place. place. Okay. Rents. Rent. Rent. Do you know what is the meaning of neighborhood? Do you know? Neighborhood is vecindario. Su colonia, su vecindario. Mm. Okay. okay. Eh, neighborhood, vecindario o colonia. En ese caso, las colonias aquí, pues, es lo mismo que un neighborhood. Es como un vecindario. Okay. So, let me see. Eh, expensive. Muy costoso. Okay. Costoso, caro. Expensive. Okay. So, now, eh, John, Erica, and Laura, Liliana. I like 
this neighborhood is quiet and convenient. 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 Mm -hmm. Laura. I know. I love this the place. There are many restaurants and um, bars are room. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a big theater, theater and many shops. Yes. I would like to live, to live. here. To live here. Mm -hmm. There are grocery stores, coffee place and pet stores. Mm -hmm. The only pro the only problem is that it's a really fancy place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Rendered must be as como dijo ahí teacher. Expensive. Red must be expensive. 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 Okay. The last time. La última vez, pero otra vez repasemos pronunciación. Repeat after me. Neighborhood. 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 Quiet. 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 Convenient. Convenient. Many shops. Many shops. Theater. Theater. Live. 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 Grocery stores. Grocery stores. Copy places. Copy places. Pet stores. Pet stores. Expensive. Expensive. Okay. So now, Liliana, John, Lara, Erica. I like this. Sweet. Name. I said me olvido. Don't worry. Neighborhood. I like this neighborhood. It's quick and convenient. 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 Okay, Laura. I know. I love this place. There are many restaurants and bars around. Yes, there is a big, there is a many a shop. I, I would like to live here. There are grocery stores, coffee place, and pit stores. The only problem is the a really fancy place. Okay. Yes. Okay, so right now I'm going to move you to a different room. So you need to practice with another partner, okay? Tiene que practicar esto con otro compañero, okay? So okay. now, uh, remember that you need to also answer those questions. Those. Esas también, okay? So let me move you. Okay, Liliana, you will go to room three. And... I'm going to bring Yvette. Okay, Yvette is going to practice with you. Let me see, I'm going to move Tanya and I'm going to move Irving and Franklin. Okay, Yvette, practice with Erica, please. You are going to practice the role play the role play and conversation, please. With Eric. Okay. Esta. John. Yes. Okay. I like I like this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's quiet and convenient. Okay. I know. I love this place. There are many restaurants and bars around. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a big dairy and many shops. Mm -hmm. I would like to live here. There are grocery stores, coffee place, and pet stores. Mm -hmm. The only problem is that it's a really fancy place. Yeah, right. 
rents must be expensive. Okay, repeat after me. Neighborhood. 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 Quiet. 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 Convenient. 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 Yes, okay. So now, mm -hmm. uh, John, Erika, Laura, Yvette. I like this neighborhood. It's quiet and convenient. Perfect. I know. I love this place. There are many restaurants and bars around. Yes, there is a big theater and Very many shops. Very good. I would like to like here. There are grocery store, coffee place, and pet store. The only problem is that it's really fancy place. Yeah, right. Rent must be expensive. Okay, repeat after me and say leave. 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 Okay, so very good. All right. Excellent. So now, do you have questions about vocabulary? ¿Tiene preguntas de vocabulario? No. Okay. So now let's move. Okay. okay. Are there photos on your mobile phone? Yes, I do. Oh, uh, yes. There, there is. Are, oh, there yes, are. there are. There are. Mm -hmm. I got yes, it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay. You are having here this okay. cool present to have. There are three rooms in your house. Uh, three rooms. Are there three rooms in your house, Erika? Tres salas, quiere decir. Three rooms, Cuart tres cuartos. Ah, tres cuartos. Ah. Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. Next. Are there two bottles of milk on your Friday? In your right. fridge? In the fridge? Yes, there are. Really? Okay. Now you, Erica, ask Yvette. Are there photos on your movie <laughs> mobile phone? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are. Okay. Are there three rooms in your house? No, they aren't. Mm -hmm. Are there two bars of milk in your fridge? No, they aren't. Excellent, perfect. Okay, the last time, the role play. Once again, remember pronunciation, pronunciation. Erika, you are John. Yvette, you are Laura. Go, Erika. I like this neighborhood. It's quiet and convenient. I know. I love this place. There are many restaurants and bars around. Yes, they, there is a big theater and many shops. I would like to live here. There are grocery stores, coffee place, and pet stores. The only problem is that it's a really fancy place. Yeah, right. Red must be expensive. Okay. Just one observation. Uh, there are grocery stores, copy places, and pet stores. Okay. Plural. All right. Very good. So I'm going to move you with a different partner to practice. Okay. Va a practicar con alguien distinto. Okay, let me okay. see. Yvette, let me uh, move you with. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. With Liliana. I'm going to bring Marcelo. And Erica, I'm going to move you with Franklin. Okay. Okay. So, and I'm going to bring Erwin. Yes. Hi, Marcelo. Hi, teacher. 
did you practice? Yes. Okay, so Irving, you are John, Laura, Marcelo. Okay. I like this neighborhood. It's quick and convenient. I know. I love this place. There are many restaurants and bars around. Yes, there is a big chair and money shop. I would like to live here. There are grocery store, coffee place, and pet store. The only problem is that you're really fun is late. Yeah, right, red must be expensive. Okay, repeat after me. Neighborhood. 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 Quiet. 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 Convenient. Quiet. Convenient. 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 Quiet, convenient. Quiet, quiet, convenient. Mm -hmm. Grocery stores. Grocery stores. Copy places. Copy places. Pet stores. Pet stores. Okay, so now please, uh, John, Marcelo, Laura, Irving. I like this method. It's quite in convention. Convenient. I know. I love this place. There are many restaurants and bars around. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a big tour and money shop and many shop. Mm -hmm. I would like to live here. There are grocery stores, coffee places, and um, pet store. Very good. The only problem is that it's really fancy place. place. Yeah, yeah. Right, rents must be expensive. 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 Expensive means that it's caro. Uh -huh, it's caro. Yes. Okay, now let's move conversation. Are the photo on your mobile phone? And yes, there are. Mm -hmm, very good. Are there three rooms in your house? Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. Are there two bottles of milk in your fry? French. 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 Mm -hmm. No, there are Great. <laughs> you, Marcelo. Oh, my God. Okay. Next. Yes, Marcelo. Solo, solo, solo. Yo tengo preguntas en eh, two worlds. No sé si así se pronuncia. Eh, eh, bottles. Oh, bottles. 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 French. 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 Uh huh. Yes. Ah, okay. Gracias. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Teacher, para decir. Digamos, cuando uno dice thank you, la gente siempre dice you're welcome, pero también se puede decir you already know, como usted ya sabe, o, o es algo informal. You already know. No es informal, sino que el contexto es muy literal, es una traducción súper literal. Ya ah. sabes, como, como nosotros en español decimos, ah, ya sabes, right? Ajá. Pero si lo traducimos literalmente, sería ah, oh, you already know. Mm. Pero no es muy común, o sea, es muy literal la traducción. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Te mira muy Google. <risa> no, no, es que una vez me lo dijeron y es como que me quedé pensando en la mente si era bueno eso. I mean, yes, but it's too literal. So, puede decir también, don't mention it. ¿Qué significa? Como, ese podría ser como, ya sabes, o sea, no lo mencioné, ya sabes. Ah, no ya sabes, don't mention it. Ah. Okay. Eh, también cuando digamos, thank you, y usted quiere decir, no hombre, un placer, ¿verdad? My pleasure. 
My pleasure. Uh -huh. My pleasure. My pleasure. Lo voy a anotar porque está buenísimo. Si no sabía, fíjese que así se podía responder también. Oh, really? No, yes. This, this is really sí, common. Sí. Ajá. Es como my pleasure. Un placer, ok. My pleasure. My pleasure. Yes. Ajá. Ok. Eh, ok, Marcelo, your turn. Okay. Are three photos on your mobile phone? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Are there three rooms in your house? Yes, there are. Are there two bottles of yes. milk in your fridge? Fridge. Yes. No, they aren't. Okay. Are there two bottles of milk in your fridge? Fridge. Your fridge. Fridge. Con S al final. No. Uh, o CH. Solo CH. Ajá, como fridge. Ah, ok. Fridge. Sí, porque yo lo tengo. Okay. Tipo, tipo como pronunciación. Algo así, fridge. Sí. El, el pronunciation. Ah, it's like fridge, free, fridge, fridge, free. Fridge. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay, I'm going to call you back to the main station. Okay, give me one minute. Give me one minute. Okay, so let me see. In Marco. Well, Tanya, John, Lara, Irvin. Tanya, John, Lara, Irvin. I like the neighborhood is yet convenient. Sorry, I know, I love the place. They are many restaurants and bars around. Yes, there is a big theater. Uh, a big, big theater. Theater, theater. It's a big theater and many shops. Mm -hmm. I would like to live here. There are grocery store, copy places, and pet store. Uh, the only problem is think is a really fancy place. Yeah, right. When months be expensive. 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 Okay. Now everybody repeat after me. Neighborhood. 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 Quiet. 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 Okay. Convenient. Mm -hmm. This one. Theater. Theater. So that the tongue is between your teeth. Yes. Su, su lengua es en medio de sus dientes. So theater. Saque la lengua. Theater. Theater. Ajá. Así. Right? Like that. All right? So, theater. Um, expensive. 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 Yes. Okay, so let me ask Marco, are there photos on your mobile phone? Yeah, uh, yes, there are. Are there three rooms in your house, Marco? Can repeat? Are there three rooms in your house? No, there are not. Oh, okay. Are there two bottles of milk in your fridge? 
No, they're not. No, they're not. Okay. Yvette, are there two bottles of milk in your fridge? Yes, they are. Yes, there are. Are there three rooms in your house? No, they aren't. No, there aren't. Are there photos on your mobile phone? Yes, they are. Yes, there are. There are. Okay, vocabulary. Before we go, before we go, we have expressions for you to use in business. Okay? So as you can see, guys, we have a couple of um, expressions in pink. Fine, thanks. Please take a seat. That sounds fine. Here you are. I speak to you later. You're welcome. I'm just looking. That's a little expensive or you too. Teacher, ¿y qué significa todo esto? Okay. It depends. Depende del contexto si lo va a utilizar. Fíjese number one. How are you? Or how are you doing? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo te va? Fine, thanks. Bien, gracias. Okay. Number two. Can we meet? Nos podemos reunir. Meet, reunir. Can we meet? At three o'clock, nos podemos reunir a las tres p.m. en punto. Sure, por supuesto, seguro. Sure, that sounds fine. Suena bien, seguro, suena bien. Nos vemos. Okay, number three. Our product costs ten dollars per unit. That's a little expensive. Would eight be okay? Ocho estaría bien. That's a little expensive. Eso está un poco caro. Okay, so now. Esto um, lo podríamos para comprar, ¿verdad? Yes, of course. Para regatear. <laughs> yes. Correcto, Marcelo. Correct, correct, correct. So, number four. I'm here to see Mr. Sanders. Please take a seat. Por favor, siéntese. Vengo a ver a Mr. Sanders. Oh, por favor, tome asiento. Por favor, siéntese. Pase. Tome asiento. Please take a seat. Thank you for all your help. You're welcome. De nada. You're welcome. De nada. Can you pass me that pen, please? ¿Me puedes pasar el lapicero, por favor? Aquí tienes. Here you are. Here you are. Aquí tienes. Here you are. Aquí tienes. Okay. Next time that somebody asks you in, in, in Spanish, right? Or at work. Hey. Pásame el lapicero. Pásame la engrapadora. Oh, here you are. Aquí tienes. Here you are. Okay. Can I help you? Puedo ayudarte. Can I help you? Puedo ayudarte. Can I help you? No, thanks. No, gracias. Solo estoy viendo. I'm just looking. Okay. Uh -huh. In the store, right? In las tiendas, cuando uno solo dice, no, solo estoy viendo. Right? So, can I help you? No, thanks. I'm just looking. Solo estoy viendo. I'm a little busy now. What is the meaning of busy? Busy, ocupado. Busy. Busy, ocupado. Can you call me after 3 p.m.? Me puedes llamar después. De las 3 p.m. Sure, no problem. Te hablo luego. I speak to you later. I speak to you later. Te hablo luego. Hablamos luego. Goodbye, everyone. Have a nice weekend. You too. Tú también.
Okay. Yes. All right. So those are common expressions for you to use at work, at work or when you are shopping, right? So you can use those expressions, all right? Do you have any question before we go? Questions before we go? Dudas? Now? Uh, how do you say uh, que le vaya bien? Um, you can say, hey, take care, take care, uh, be careful, okay, take care, I'm going to send it here, take care, be careful, take care, be careful, okay, yes, like that, mm -hmm. okay, um, then, guys, if you don't have any other question, I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? Please try to study. Marco, do you have time for the feedback? ¿Se puede quedar, Marco? Eh, no, no, teacher. I tengo un, uh, una emergencia. Voy a salir. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. let me see. All right, uh, give me one second then. Deme un segundo, okay? Deme un segundo. Solo quiero ver si está a la otra persona que le toca el feedback. Eh, Reinaldo, no. Tania? Yes? Okay. All right, so then, yes. guys, eh, Marco, tomorrow we will have the feedback, okay? So I'll see you yes. back tomorrow. Yes. yes. Good night. Take care. See you back Good tomorrow. Night. Good 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 Yes. Hasta qué tarea tendríamos que tener el día de hoy. Ah, yes, okay, very good. Muy bien, muy buena pregunta. Okay, hasta la tarea, el día de ahora es 6. So, hasta la tarea 12, 12. Ah, okay. Perfecto. Yes. Okay. Gracias, teacher. All right, thank you. Good morning. Good night. Good morning. Good night. Good night, Marcelo. <laughs> okay, bye. All right. Okay, so Tanya, how are you, Tanya? Uh, I am happy. You're happy. Okay. So, what about your work? How's how how is work? How is work? Good. Uh huh. Uh, good. 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 Okay. All right, so Tanya, we have some minutes for us to, to have the feedback. I just want to know how you feel with the classes. What do you think about classes? If you feel good with the dynamic of the classes, if you have questions about topics, okay? Este espacio es para que usted me pueda decir básicamente cómo se siente, cómo se ha sentido en estas semanas que hemos estado en clase, eh, qué le parece la dinámica, eh, cómo se siente con las tareas, con las actividades que hacemos, todo lo relacionado a la clase, y si tiene alguna pregunta de algo, también. Okay. Eh, con las clases, eh, sí, sí me siento bien, solo que algunas actividades sí me cuestan un poquitito. Uh -huh. Y a veces me cuesta un poco entenderla cuando está hablando. Sí, eso es normal, eso es normal. Ajá, porque hay algún, varias cosas que yo no puedo en inglés y a mí me sí. cuesta un poquito. Eh, a todos, inglés. la verdad que a todos, pero eh, tratamos de utilizar el idioma lo más posible porque en realidad las clases tienen que ser todas en inglés. En ese momento lo estamos como dando como un inglés español, pero no debería de ser así. Eh, lo hacemos eh, inglés español en ese caso por el hecho de que, que están empezando, ¿verdad? Dice que les cuesta un poquito, pero... Eh, en algún momento va a ser full inglés, a partir del próximo mes, full inglés, porque es un requisito que toda la clase se dé en inglés, entonces sí comprendo el hecho de que, que a veces nos cuesta un poquito, pero entonces tenemos que tratar de, de estudiar un poquito más y tal vez eh, tratar de utilizar el idioma más seguido, porque eh, tal vez a veces lo que hacemos es que no lo utilizamos lo sabe, sabemos frases, pero no las utilizamos Entonces hay que utilizarlas para que se vaya entrando en confianza. Uh -huh. Por lo menos a mí eso es lo que más me cuesta a veces entenderla. O a veces cuando, cuando pregunta de algún ejercicio. Uh 
Yes, yo sé. Ok, sí. Vaya, ok. Con la dinámica de la clase, con las actividades que hacemos, cuando está con sus compañeros, cómo se siente, cómo se ha sentido, eh, cómo se siente con eso. Eh, pues yo bien, bueno, pues yo soy algo amigable, entonces rápido. Sí. Hago, hago el hablar con la otra persona, aunque la persona no me hable desde un principio. Uh -huh. Es cierto. Ok, ahora con las actividades, con las tareas, con la plataforma, ¿ha tenido algún inconveniente? Eh, pues con las tareas no. Por lo menos yo lo que voy haciendo es que cada clase que va pasando, en la, ya nomás termina la clase, la, la, la empiezo a hacer la tarea y la termino okay. en el ratito. Uh -huh. Para como que de un solo, de, de la mente ya fresquecita, de, de todo lo que vimos, y hago la tarea. Sí, ok. Perfecto. Para entenderla más fácil. Ok, entonces no tengo ningún inconveniente con la plataforma. No, 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 por el momento no. Más que todo solamente eso de que a veces me cuesta entender y, y de ahí con las actividades, pues, bien, me va bien con las tareas. Ok. Ahora, cuénteme, ¿por qué está estudiando el idioma? ¿Cuál es su objetivo? Pues yo aprender algo nuevo, uh -huh. aprender algo nuevo. La verdad es que a, a mí nunca me ha gustado así como que mucho el inglés, uh -huh. pero a veces no es malo aprender algo nuevo. Ok, perfecto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Incluso a veces lo ayuda a uno porque incluso se puede conseguir mejores oportunidades de trabajo sí. o alguna otra cosa así. Claro sí. Y ya que aquí donde estoy trabajando nos lo están dando, entonces. Sí, hay que aprovecharlo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Definitivamente. Ok, Tania, muy bien. Ahora, eh, bueno, le voy a dar mi feedback hacia usted. Bueno, lo primero que nada, Tania, eh, la felicito porque es una de las estudiantes que más participa, ¿verdad? En clase. Y siempre, aunque usted me dice, me cuesta comprenderla, me cuesta, me cuesta entenderla. Ajá. Pero participa. Y en muy raras ocasiones, tal vez se ha equivocado. Y si se ha equivocado, pero, o sea, así se aprende, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, la felicito porque se ve el entusiasmo que tiene. ¿Sí? Entonces, y por lo mismo que usted me dice, yo soy bien amigable. Entonces, es cierto. Usted trata como cuando está hablando con sus compañeros en los diferentes salones, yo siempre veo que está hablando y que siempre le está preguntando, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahora, eh, lo que debemos de cambiar es básicamente que debemos de empezar a hablar en inglés. ¿Sí? Porque si su compañero ve que usted habla en inglés, su compañero también se va a ver forzado a hablar en inglés. Va a decir, pero Tania me está hablando en inglés, yo también tengo que. Pero si Tania no me habla en inglés, yo tampoco voy a hablar en inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces uno de los dos tiene que tomar como la batuta en, el, en la conversación y decir, no, aunque sea palabritas, cuando estemos realizando la actividad, ok, eh, number one, ok, next, siguiente. En lugar de estar como, vaya, la uno, ¿cuál es la uno? Vaya, la dos, ¿sí? Entonces, porque entonces no estamos utilizando el idioma, ¿verdad? Y el objetivo es que lo utilice, porque usted puede decir primero, segundo, tercero, número uno, número dos, lo puede decir. Entonces, son cosas que ya las tienen y ya se les eh, brindó el vocabulario para que lo puedan utilizar. Entonces, el siguiente paso que yo quiero ver en usted, Tania, es que cuando vayamos a, las, a los salones, yo quiero entrar y quiero escuchar que más de alguna frase, más de alguna palabra, la diga en inglés. Quiero ver el intento que está haciendo por utilizar el idioma. ¿Sí? Eh, ahora, otra cosa súper bien, me encanta su actitud. Y su actitud creo que es súper bonita. No cambie, no se desmotive. Siga así, motívese aún más, ya que, pues, recuerde que el idioma inglés es extenso. Hay bastantes cosas que aprender, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero si lo hacemos de la mejor manera y con la mejor actitud, todo es cuestión de actitud. Entonces, usted, pues, va a lograr todas sus metas, ¿verdad? Así que le digo ahora que no se desmotive, que nos encanta que esté súper participativa en la clase porque se nota, ¿sí? Entonces, eso es muy importante. 
y también por la responsabilidad porque siempre está presente, aunque vaya, venga, me dice, Ticha, me voy a conectar tarde porque voy en el bus, ¿verdad? O voy de camino todavía, pero ahí está, ¿verdad? Aunque no tenga la cámara encendida e incluso a veces ha participado cuando me ha dicho que está de camino, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, eh, a veces ya casi voy llegando a mi casa y le entiendo un ratito en lo que usted está preguntando. Sí, ajá, entonces yo no te pierdo, como todo ese entusiasmo que usted tiene y eso es muy bueno, no lo pierda, ¿sí? Ok. okay. Vaya. ¿Tiene alguna duda, alguna otra pregunta antes de que nos vayamos? Mm, no, por el momento no. Vaya, perfecto. Entonces, pues, para concluir, ¿verdad? Súper bien. Ok, excelente el desempeño que está teniendo. Siga así. Ok. Y pues, eh, si no tiene ninguna otra pregunta, la veo el día de mañana. I'll see you back tomorrow. Ok. Ok. All right. So, have a okay. good night. Okay. Good night. Good night, then. Okay.